What's up, my meatballs? It's Aaron at Mar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Last time we defeated, or completed, uh, no, we defeated Bowser in the Fountain Dome, and so now we have unlocked the next area because we have received another Grand Star. So, let me go ahead and get up here. Um, actually, if we drop down here and go around like so, there's a one-up over here. You can walk around it, but it's easier just to do that and then, you know, sort of uh, shortcut your way back like that. But let's go ahead and head up into um, this area, into the kitchen uh, dome, I guess is what it's called. We have discovered an enemy base, so we've already got access to the next boss area. But let's go ahead and... Uh, just start from the beginning. So start from the lowest observable planet and we'll continue onward. The first one is Beach Bowl Galaxy. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it and get this going. No dilly-dallying and all these other old words that people use. Let's go to Beach Bowl Galaxy Sunken Treasure. Alright. Huh. So I guess we've got to go underwater for Sunken Treasure. Big surprise there. Alright, but this is going to introduce some of the introductory uh, swimming mechanics, I believe, um, in this game. Look at that water. That water is one of the most more natural waters I've ever seen. But if we come over here, we talk to the teacher. He'll tell us the students are distracted by the sparklies. So we need to collect the sparklies. And if we look at the icon, we can tell that the sparklies are actually just star chips for us to I believe they're called star chips I'll never remember what those are called I guess I'll just call them star chips all right but they will conf try and confuse you because there are coins everywhere that look like the star chips uh, that are in the bubbles so you want to basically keep your eye out you can go for the coins it's probably smart to go for the coins as well because you will uh, get air and you're going to definitely need air now, one of the things about Luigi, if you're playing as Luigi, is when you spin, he will lose air. And I believe Mario does lose air as well when you spin, but Luigi loses it at a much faster increment. So you're going to want to be careful of that. You're going to want to use that sparingly. It's very easy to get used to it, and then you find yourself sitting in there in the red, and you have no idea where to go to get air, and then you end up dying because you have no idea what to do. Oh, wait, there's a sparkly right there. Get it, go get it, go get it. All right, and where is the last one? Um, I think it might be in a crate. Actually, it is in a crate. Uh, it's just it's time to figure out which crate it's in. There it is. Alright. And swim over there. There we go. And this will open up a sling star. Not a sling star. A launch star. Whatever they're called. You know what they're called. A star. And it'll take us up to the area where the star is located. For some reason, it's trapped inside a crystal. Hello there. And you're telling us to spin. So there we go. And... Get out of here. Oh crap. Oh crap. Alright. Listen to the great music. Alright. Let's hope we can make it in time. There we go. And this will. All this will do is supply us with a one up. And I believe we can just go ahead. Can I wall jump and get that? I might be. I might be able to if I. Get up there. Get up there. There we go. Get up there. Nope. Alright. I think we're gonna have to hit this. Whoa. Watch out. Alright. Let's swim away from this sea urchin guy. And oh crap, we're about to die. Yep. Gosh, the water physics getting out of here is so difficult to work with. It's it's hard to I don't know. It's hard to get around when you're trying to get from you know above the water onto the ground onto like a higher level plane or something like that. It's just I don't know. The controls have always been bad for me. Um, maybe I just lack the necessary brain power I guess but there we go there's that one up once again all right and come over here and what is up here something nothing no shadows over there so don't worry about that but we can hit this switch and this switch will open up a boardwalk type thing I believe yep and that is where we are going to get our one up from you don't even need to you know go the way they want you to go to get the one up but we can go ahead and get it anyway and be out of here with plenty of time. Let's go ahead and hit this one and see what this does. Ah, this gives us a nice little, a nice little platform for us to wall jump on. And then we can just go ahead and spin and get our star. Star! 
All right, so there we go. There is our star for Sunken Treasure. Not really sunken, misleading titles. All right, next up in the Beach Bowl Galaxy is passing the swim test. This is actually where they give you swimming mechanics that aren't just swimming around with uh, the A or sh A button or shaking the Wii Remote. They actually give you a third option, which is actually my preferred option in nearly every case. But we are going to have to figure out, or it's it's very uh, you know choice sensitive. I get not choice sensitive, but it depends on the circumstances. Because let's see, you here taking this? You here to take the swimming school's final swim test? I guess I am. In this test, you must collect shells in the ocean. If you bring me the gold shell, it's an automatic A for you. Cool, thanks, buddy. So we need to bring him the golden shell. And if we look around here, there's going to be a character, like some silly guy. Where is he at? He's gonna, one of them is going to have the golden shell, and we have to steal it from him. But I can't find where he's at. There he is. All right, I'm coming after you. Basically, all you got to do is swim near him and shake, and you will receive the golden shell. It sort of locks into your spin, so that's pretty nice. Um, and all you gotta do is hop up and bring it to the teacher. This is probably one of the quickest shines in the game. Shines? What are we playing? Super Mario Sunshine? Probably one of the quickest stars. But there we go, and the gold shell will... We can exchange that for a gold medal or a power star. I don't know why you're handing these out as freaking medals to your class. Does that mean you've got more they didn't tell us about? Nice job on the test, but are you even one of my students? Wow, you are an awful teacher but there we go there is a power star drop the golden shell all right final sh final shine I keep trying to say shine why am I doing that final star for Beach Bowl Galaxy the secret undersea cavern let's do a this this one's actually really neat because it's sort of the ones where it's just the title just tells you where to go and then you're just like you just start, um, wait, what am I trying to say? I don't even know. Uh, the title tells you where to go, and then it just takes you to somewhere completely unexpected, and you have no idea where this looks like supposed to come from in any way, but regardless, that's what happens. All right. So, what we want to do is, as the opening cinematic showed us, uh, if you hold down Z while you're shell swimming, I guess, um, it sort of turns on the brake lights, and you can just sort of pause midair and aim your shell, and that will launch us to where we need launch the shell where it needs to go uh what is this what is that a oh, one up nice thank you sir all right so let's go ahead and swim this way and swim upwards into this undersea cavern i'm not going to spin again because we're running low on air even though i just spin span again just to say spin all right uh what's in these crates just star bits oh get out of here you there we go Get wrecked back, get wrecked! Oh no. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we want to crush these crates that are blocking the weird hole thing here. I guess this is someone's attempt to patch up a hole in the... A very conveniently placed hole in the fence as well, but... Whatever. Um, are these guys gonna try and hit us? Alright, I didn't mean to do that, but alright. I tried to spin out of the way and... All right, so let's go ahead and long jump across here and get ourselves a one-up. Now, you're going to want to make yourself very familiar with this area because we are going to be returning here for, you guessed it, a prankster comet. And it's not going to be very fun because that's one of the more difficult prankster comets in this game. But right now, this isn't too hard as I fall into the black hole. Impatience is not a virtue. That's like the opposite of what the saying is, but whatever. Alright, jump across here, get ourselves another 1-up, so at least we are cashing in on even lives. I did it again! Wow. Twice in a row, are you kidding me, man? Every time. I need to learn patience, I guess. Alright, let's make our way as fast as we can, see if we can actually do it. Nope. Oh, we can! We made it underneath the little guy this time. Ha! Underneath his mouth. Okay, and now we want to travel across these moving platforms as safely as possible until we get to this section. And now we basically just want to keep going. 
as slowly as we have to because that guy's there. All right. Yeah, basically this is right now this is like a waiting game because you you want to go faster than it's letting you go, and then in the, in the prankster comment you're going to go faster than you want to go. So it's kind of two sides of the same coin, something like that. All right. But regardless, let's jump this way and let the thwomp fall. There we go. And then the star should be right here. Yes, it is. So fun fact, you can actually spin twice in the air on these and break the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess you can't. But there we go. There is our star for this area. And this is the final Beach Bowl Galaxy star as well. So that's fine and dandy and fantastic. And all these other words that describe things like that. And there we go. There is... Returning to the Kitchen Dome. We actually do have a Hungry Luma available to us. But I'm not going to do that just yet. But let's go ahead and head to the next world. The next world I think is a one-off. Oh, we've got a Fast Foe Comet in orbit. Do we dare do this now? Why not? Let's go ahead and do it now. May as well. There's also a secret star, which I think I know which is the one for it. Which mission it is, but... <sighs> Alright, you're about to see what I meant. That we're, have to wanna, we're gonna end up wanting to go faster than we need to. Because this prankster comment... Look how fast these guys are going. We are going... We are... This is one of the... One of my least favorite prankster comments in the entire game. Without a doubt. I'm gonna tell you right now not to worry about the star bits. Go ahead and collect um, your 1-up, but we are going to want to just worry about getting through here. The one, the Prankster Comet in Super Mario Galaxy 2 is actually a lot more difficult, so I guess we should count ourselves lucky because this one isn't as hard as it should be. Oh, hurry, I can hear it coming. I can hear it coming. There it is. It isn't as hard as it should be, but it is still very difficult because this, uh, this level is in Super Mario Galaxy 2 as well as this game. However, uh, there's a different mission in Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's one of those star, those mini stars where you create a regular power star. Oh crap, go, 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 go. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. There's nothing I could do. I was trying to get across but run at the same time and it just didn't work. But as you can see, with Prankster Comets, if you die, they give you the option to try again or just go back to the observatory because they know how difficult this is. So they know you may struggle. But that first one was my fault. It wasn't just because the level was hard. It's because I was just not paying attention. Oh, that was close. I almost kept going. All right. So go, go, go. And there we go. Okay, next up, the most difficult part of this. The sideways ones, I guess. All right, that one was not that hard. But it's this one that's difficult. All right, I'll just wait until... There we go. Okay. And now just long jump across. And now this is deceptively easy. You, you you see it going up and down, but sometimes the timing is difficult, especially with Luigi. And then let's just go ahead and bust it. And double spin, and there we go. Open up the secret power... Or no, the Prankster's Comet Power Star. There's also that secret star. Oh, and it's going to tell me what mission it's in, so we may as well do that now. All right, let's go ahead and get the secret star out of the way. It is a secret undersea cavern one because that is the one that has the surplus of shells and we are going to need the shells. So let's go ahead and skip that intro because we've seen it twice now. Once in yellow tint and once in uh, the regular mission, but we are going to want to come over this way. I'm pretty much doing this from memory. I'm pretty good with remembering the stars in this game. But occasionally, I do need some refreshing, so this may be one of the times. But I think I've got it just just fine. So we need a green shell, so let's go ahead and find one. Conveniently down here. Alright, and let's go ahead and get some air so we can recover from our spins. There we go. And head over all the way to this direction. And make sure it's not down here first. Oh crap, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Alright. It's up here. Now be careful because this this one is the this world is one of the few worlds where there is an edge to the world where you can oh crap where you can fall off the edge and this one is weird because it's right on off the water so you can't actually 
fall off this edge over here, so you want to be careful with that. But if we come over here and throw this shell into this treasure chest, it will launch a sling star. And this will take us to this area over here, which is not viewable from the map, I don't think, or the main area, I don't think. Now, I think we're supposed to bring this, uh, this guy over here and get him to help us, but I think we can do this on our own. Let me try triple jumping. Otherwise, we're gonna have to bring the cat a quack over there. Jump. Wait. No. Line up properly, Aaron. There we go. And get up there. There it is. And this will result us with the ice flower. Now we are ice Luigi. We can skate on the water and walk around on water and stuff like that. And that's pretty neat. So we can actually use our new ice abilities to wall jump on waterfalls. And pick that. Um, that's the sling star. Those are other ones are launch stars. And you want to make sure you get up here in time. So you're going to have just like pretty much one chance to get up here in one go. Because as you can see, as soon as I landed, I turned back into regular Luigi. So we are really, really, it's a really, really close feat. And again, I think we need a Cataquack to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and try as regular Luigi to begin with. Alright, so, wow. Out of here. Alright, one. One, two, no, this thing keeps breaking my ice. All right, let's go this way. One, two, three, get it? No. All right, the only chance we've got now is to jump on these before they break because our spin jump is not as good as it should be. You know what? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get the cataquack over here. And I don't like that because the cataquack can be really irritating. All right. So, I guess we're going to have to jump across this way. Okay. And we're going to have to become Ice Luigi and do this pretty much all in one go. So, uh, let's get the timing down. So, there's... Alright. Now should be good because we don't want the ice in our way. Or the ice spikes in our way. Alright, come on. Follow us. Follow us, man. Are you going to follow us? Are you following us? You're not following us. Did he sink in? No. But come on, follow us, follow, nope. Ah, we had a perfect thing, but we went too fast, I guess. I guess we just went too fast for our own good. And now I think, wait, why is he falling in? Wow, what are you doing wasting our time, dude? All right, come on. Oh, get out of here, stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Ah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go right here, and hopefully now this will be the one, because everything's out of the way. Why are you walking off the edge? Stop walking off the edge, it doesn't make any sense, you're wasting everyone's time. Alright, come on. Nope, there is no ice for you to walk on. Come on. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Alright, uh-huh. You're joking. If he was right there, he would at least those don't hurt me. But he was right there. If he had see, if he had just been near us, I would have been able to get enough height to spin over to it. But now he's falling in the water again. Alright, let's watch him fall into the water once more because he's retarded. Well, I guess he's just gonna sit there and watch me. Oh, now he's gonna fall in the water. As soon as I get the ice thing. Alright, let's go, come on. There we go. That's how you do it. Took us long enough, but there we go. There is the final secret star for Beach Bowl Galaxy. Or actually, the only secret star, because that first one was a prankster comet. And I think we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and do the, the one-off galaxy for this world as well. Or, or for this dome, I should say. This observatory. Uh, no, do not want to save my game. And let's go ahead and open up. Ooh, alright, there is... This one, this is the closest one. Let's go ahead and do that, and then we will be done with this uh, episode. So let's go ahead and fly to Bubble Breeze Galaxy. You do that, Luigi. Fly through the poison swamp. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and do this one star, and we should be good. This is one of the more creative star, uh, you know, 
star explorations, I guess. And I guess they took mechanics that they couldn't put into full galaxies and just threw them into one-offs. So, and I actually appreciate that. It makes the game a lot longer than it should be. And this game would have been much shorter. Alright, so what we want to do is head over this way. And I guess if we were to talk to these toads, they would tell us not to fall into the goop. But video game logic tells us not to fall into weird goop anyway. But let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Billboard here again. Hey, before you write any bubbles, let yours truly... Oh, I'm sorry, this is Phil Ward. <laughs> Bend your ear for a second. You can move around in your bubble by holding A, but do it while your cursor is blowing on the bubble. If you go too far on one side, use the cursor to blow on the other side. So basically, jump on the bubble. And the A creates sort of a blow dryer thing, and we can go ahead and propel ourselves into different directions. And basically we need to traverse this area and collect all of the star chips while uh, while in this bubble. And if we drop once, we die. So basically, don't do that. You can bump into the fans, kind of. It's kind of gimmicky on uh, based on when you can run into the fans and when you can't. But I always find it best just to not do that. Because, oh crap. No, we want to go this way. We want to go this way. Blow across the current. Wait, 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 what are you doing? There we go. Alright, be careful. I'm being pretty reckless, but as you can see, there is... It's pretty forgiving concerning the, uh... Concerning the fans. So let's see what is this way. Ooh, good thing I came this way. There's another starship. The final starship, in fact. And then this will take us to... Oh, crap, get out of the way, get out of the way. Alright, this will take us to... The launch star. And go ahead and hit the launch star. And... Land, and we're gonna have to do this once more. So there's two segments. Wait, what does this guy tell us? Hey, I forgot to tell you something. So if you get in a bubble and you want to get back to the surface, just press Z to get down. Oh yeah, and if you get pinched between moving obstacles, that big bubble's gonna burst. So watch out. Why well, do they tell us after we've completed one of these sections? Like, that's something that could happen in one of the sections, but I guess they feel like it's not important enough to tell you. Oh crap, go, 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 go. Okay. Get inside one of these. And what we can do while we wait for the other side is collect all of these star bits. Nice. And just in time for this big hole to show up and let us in. Alright, now keep going. This, I think this one's coins. Yeah, this one's coins. Coins, I find, are a lot less useful in this game than star bits. Like, there's maybe two Hungry Lumas in the game that ask you for coins instead of star bits. So other than... Um, giving you life when you lost it and that those hungry lumas. There's really not much uh, That happens with coins All right, and go ahead and open this up and quickly get across All right, and I believe we are just close to the star now but Yeah, coins really don't do much and it's I don't know. I've always found it weird It's but it's breaking from the Mario formula and that's good because if we kept the same formula then games would get stale and boring Alright, let's head this way, and I know there it is, that tells us the track it's on, and oh, I don't care that we hit that, because star's right here and we are done with that level. That level's not even that hard, but towards the end, those ball, those spike balls can just be so uh, hazardous that it gets annoying, but that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. We did pretty much an entire galaxy and then a one-off. So basically, essentially two galaxies. But that is going to be it for this episode. As I said before, I will see you all next time on Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy, where we will continue the Kitchen Dome. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.